welcome back to my youtube channel how is everybody doing vibely vibely i hope yes a girl's been gone a month and a half after promising like i usually do to be consistent but there's a good reason and i'm going to be explaining that in this video so if you want to know why and also it's a get ready with me so i'm going to be showing you guys how i do my everyday basic makeup today is well i don't know what day it is but i've got an event it's joe boy's listening party so a girl's gonna look good but can we take half a split second to talk about my skin because <laughs> can your fave ever really and truly anyway i'm gonna be showing you guys how i do my makeup while talking to you about um just what's been going on with me a life update um, so it's going to be a bit of a long video. I'm going to try and be as brief as I can while I do my makeup. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. First, I go in with my Zico Cosmetics. You guys, I actually swear by this, guys. It's a Nigerian brand, but they are so fire. So it is the 24K Golden uh, Gold Leaf Serum. It's basically like a rejuvenating serum that um, oops, keeps your skin looking brand new. Brand new, brand new. Um, shout out to Precious my chasque for plugging me on but yeah so um i think my last video was actually shot in like november of last year or october say if i don't remember but the last video i posted that's when it was actually done it was uh it was a uh, a video with my girl joy shout out to joy and as at november everything was going great so this is just a basic um lip balm just keep the lips the lips the lips looking soft and dweezy shake it when it casing anyways between my last video and now so much has happened now i'm going in with my zico um oil free primer um it's the first time i'm actually trying it out because i'm usually a zaron baby but i ran out of zaron and i was like okay you know what why don't i try this guys out so between where my last video was and now your girl has been sick as a dog now no i didn't have covid i checked twice bro covid tests are expensive if just for the expense stay in your houses okay you guys i've lost quite a good number of uh friends and family to the disease at this point plus i like to do my um priming with my hands helps it get into the skin better but anyway, so what has happened? So sometime in 2020, if you guys remember while everybody was dealing with COVID, I was dealing with my own demons. So I had a nasty, nasty habit, right? I had the habit of not <sighs> drinking water. Let me tell you guys, everybody's always talking about hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. You actually really need to hydrate because what is so important it clears out so much from your system helps you lose weight and all of that so sometime in 2020 i discovered my piss was like a fanta you guys know the lemon fanta right i discovered my pee was like that and i'm like yo what's going on why does my pee look like that and after a while i started to feel very bloated like i wasn't get, getting rid of water i'm like yo what could be causing this so i'm like you know what take a brave step you are an adult now go to the hospital and brah brah ta 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 so i took the brave step and i went to the hospital <clears throat> got a couple of tests done uh this is my foundation it's the zico even true in sexy almond because hormone skin gorgeousness here anyway i go to the hospital got a couple of tests done i'm a bit nervous at this point because it's like okay uh first time i go back doctor doesn't seem too pleased with my results so i'm there like yo doc what's popping this is a zaron a foundation brush and the doctor is like um first of all do you have a history of diabetes in your family i'm like okay my grandma died from it what's up he's like well you're pre-diabetic what do said i mean I consumed at that point a crazy amount of sugar so really and truly i wouldn't say i was 100 percent surprised but you're 20 something the last thing on your mind is getting diabetes so you don't really care about it it's like okay that's the first thing if you already have a history of diabetes in your family you're pre-diabetic blah 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 at that point 
I really wasn't paying attention because I was like, oh my God, my life is over. My grandma died of diabetes. I don't want this shit. But that wasn't even the beginning of my problems. He's like, so from now on, your OPS, this beauty blender by Frame, it's fire, just fire. So it was like, oh, so you're pre-diabetic. Right now, you have to reduce your sugar intake, your carbs intake. I'm like, hello, sir. I'm Nigerian. We can't really reduce carb intake. All we have is carbs. But it's like, well, you have to start to eat lesser carbs, more protein, <clears throat> more vegetables. I'm like, all right, that's doable. I want to live long. I want to chop life crude jai times two. So I'm going to have to deal with that. Next thing he says is your BP is a bit high. Look, I live in Lagos, okay? One. Two, I deal with Lagos men. Three, again, I'm an adult. So my BP was a bit high. So that's something I had to watch out for. Cool. P.S. I'm wearing an Arsenal shirt I stole from some guy I used to see like six years ago. I don't know why I still have this shirt, by the way. <clears throat> anyway. So there I was. BP issues, right? Diabetes, pre-diabetic. And that was in the beginning of my problems. And then he comes to the major issue. The major issue was that my kidneys were infected. <laughs> no. So basically, I had a kidney infection and my kidneys and my entire system was dehydrated. Rewind back to when I said, drink water, kids. Stay hydrated for your kidneys. Now, he gave me that news and I was like, wait, what? Kidney infection? I don't understand. And then he explains it to me. So basically... I have tonsillitis. I'm going to leave what that means right here. And different things could trigger your tonsillitis, right? This is a black opal darker foundation that I've had for years now, which I don't even think is a good thing. But anyways, he says, so you've had tonsillitis, right? How often has your tonsillitis reoccurred? I gave him, you know, medical history, blah, blah, blah. You guys also, it's very important to keep your medical history you know, current, take dates of when things happened, take dates of how you were feeling and all of that. Anyway, I give him the history. He's like, okay, no, um, your, your tonsils don't occur enough for you to take them out. I'm like, hallelujah, because yo, surgery, not a good option. Anyway, he says to me, oh, <clears throat> you basically, um, had, or I've been having tonsil infections. I'm like, yeah, and everybody always says when your tonsils are weirded out or when you have a sore throat, take strep seals. Now, what my doctor made me understand is tonsillitis is basically an infection in your throat, right? It could be gotten from food that wasn't cooked properly. It could be dust. It could be licking something you wasn't supposed to lick that wasn't healthy or kissing somebody that isn't healthy either. And I don't think I had done any of that. So basically, it was food that was causing my tonsillitis. And he's like, okay, you know what, girl... You need to get this, you know, sorted out. I'm like, okay. So what is it? He's like, I have to find what food is causing it. This is me that eats out like that. If you go to my page, I love food. I love pasta. So I'm like, okay, fine. I'll sort that out. But he said, basically, the strep cells had been treating the inflammation in my throat, but it hadn't been treating my infection. So basically, my infection was walking around in my body. And somehow, it got transferred to my kidney. Okay, village people, I see y'all. I definitely see y'all. Now, I'm going in with my Zarin Cosmetics. Zarin Cosmetics um, in uh, Deep AZ15. It's my concealer. <clears throat> Love it. Full coverage. So, basically, he's like, yeah, so I travel to your kidneys. I'm like, hello, sir. Was the, was the cure? He's like, well, the truth is, you're going to have to be on antibiotics. Now, as much as antibiotics are helpful to the body... They're also really harmful if you take them in really large amounts or too often. So I was already a bit skeptical. He's like, oh no, they'll prescribe a dose. And as long as I stay hydrated because water is going to help to heal everything I was feeling, that I should be fine. So I go home, tell my mom who's in full panic mode. Eh, kidney, left, right, center, left, right, center, left, right. I'm like, mommy, well, they said it's not such a big deal. It was because <laughs> I was drinking water like i was in the sahara desert basically four five six seven bottles a day where before now i would do like three bottles of juice or coke or whatnot and like two bottles of water so i was like all right they've said you know do your drinking of water so i was doing that and i had to go in basically every two weeks 
to check the progress of the infection. Keep in mind, all of this was happening when there was a global pandemic. Talk about stress. But I was pretty stressed. Uh, not a lot of people knew what was going on. That's sort of why I'm coming out to tell you guys now. So for the whole of 2020, I was battling with my kidneys. I'm like, yo, I'm way too young for this shit. I don't need all this drama in my life. But thankfully, you know, after some sessions of the radiation, I was good to go. 2020 was like, okay, who? You can finally take a deep breath. Oh, guys, I'm concealing my nose, by the way. I can seal with a little brush like this because unfortunately for me, I picked my father's nose. So it's a bit on the large side. Anyway, just as 2020 was coming to an end, I'm like, okay, good. Whew. Finally, a girl can breathe. You know, I checked my kidneys. They were great. There was a little scarring here and there, but that was to be expected. Your kidneys were infected. They had bruises. Now, fast forward to December 2020. Clearly, it wasn't a dirty December. Everybody was sort of behaving themselves, you know, clean December because of COVID and all of that. <clears throat> now, it's time for that time of the month in December. Now, I have really, really, really bad cramps. Like, not hospital cramps, but like, hella, you feel like you just want to lay in bed type of cramps. But I'm a soldier. I'm a fighter. I never take medication for it because... I feel like I could actually like get addicted to meds. So I only take meds when it's absolutely necessary. Plus I have a phobia for parastamol. I don't know why, but I can drink 10 antibiotics, but tell me to drink the parastamol that follows it. We have a problem. We literally have a huge ass problem. Now, so I started to feel cramps like on the 21st. So I have pre-period cramps and post-period cramps. Aren't I blessed? Oh, to be a woman. So I was having cramps. I checked my prayer calendar. It's like, all right, great. It's that time of the month. No biggie. <clears throat> right? So it's around the 21st. Period comes a couple, like a day or two after. And it's like, okay, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th. It's almost Christmas. You know, everybody's feeling jolly, jolly and all of that. You guys see what I was saying about full coverage though? Like, <sighs> anyway. It's a couple of days to Christmas. Everybody's feeling jolly. Now, I noticed that my cramps hadn't stopped, right? The lower side of my left abdomen was pretty, 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 you know, hurtful. It was painful. I'm like, okay, you know what? What is this? Okay, I'm assuming it's my cramps. I leave it. I don't deal with it, right? It's like, okay, period, not finlage. Cramp, the not go. Ha. <sighs> And it was like, with every passing day, it was getting more painful. I'm like, look, look here, look here, dear. I just finished dealing with something. I really, really don't want to deal with anything else. My body said, girl, you don't even know what's about to hit you. So, uh, okay, wait, I'm going to go in now. This is the Zekel um, Translucent Loose Powder. I love their packaging. So gorgeous and nice. And this one is in banana. So I'm saying to myself, okay, girl, you know what? P.S. I had to put this on off camera because it would have taken too much time. But it's actually glowing. <laughs> I'll be a Gloria, Gloria. So this is my spoolie. And here's a trick I actually learned from my makeup artist. This is hair gel, right? So basically, what I do is I brush up my hair, which, by the way, is in need of a trim. I brush it up in the style I want to draw my brows in. And now to keep it sleek, I actually dip my spoolie in just a little titsy witsy bit of gel. This is what gives them that very natural look. So I learned this from my makeup artist. Shout out to Jessica. Jennifer. Shit, I'm a horrible person. <laughs> Shout out to Jennifer for this little trick over here. So that's done. So basically, I said to myself, uh-uh. Why am I in so much pain? It's Christmas morning. Obviously, I work on radio, so I'm going to work, right? I get to the office and I feel like I'm about to die, you guys. Like, you know, whatever your period pain is like, multiply by 10. That was half of what I was feeling. I'm sure you guys get the picture now. So, there I was, screaming in pain in the office, trying to be happy on air. Which, by the way, is borderline impossible if you're in pain. But I was like, okay, you know what? Fuck this, right? I don't like to go to the hospital, but you know what? 
since i went to the hospital when i was sick that time and i found out all that i found out i was like yeah you know you may need to start going to the hospital when you feel something instead of waiting for your body to deal with it so uh p.s shout out to tails you guys your mirror has come in handy so many times so i said to myself okay after your shift right take yourself to the hospital do the damn thing i mean what's the worst that can happen right so my shift is over i go to my hmo hospital and first of all nigerian hospitals are trash just the healthcare system rubbish so i know it's christmas day right but clearly for somebody to be in the hospital on christmas day there's more places people would rather be right there's there's a lot more places i would rather be on christmas morning by the way than a hospital but i get there and they tell me oh that uh, the person that usually collects a uh, card is not around you see me with tears in my eyes i am literally about to start crying there and you're telling me the person that collects card is not around bruh you are a hospital you are an essential service i get it it's christmas Day. everybody would rather be home with their family but you signed up for this job so why the hell are you missing from duty so i was there for like what 20 minutes waiting for the person that collects cards to even collect my card to start with to find out my my file so the person finally comes i don't even have the energy to be irritated or disgusted or kill the person i pass my card along they give me my file oh, it's time to go see a doctor I go and I see a doctor. He's like, oh, what's your symptoms? I tell him. He's like, okay, well, you don't have any history of abdominal pain. I'm like, no, not really. I don't have any history of abdominal pain. He's like, all right, so I'm going to go order a urinary test and a blood test. Oh, as I hear blood test, I started to shit because if you know me, you know that me and needles. <laughs> me and needles have a tumultuous. You know that they speak the English. We have a tumultuous, tumultuous, tumult, tumult. Sure, I don't like ourselves. So I had to call <laughs> my ex-boyfriend to say they want to shoot me needle. <laughs> he first started laughing because he knows I'm about to display drama for them. Then I took the piss test, put peed into a cup, which by the way is really, really weird. Like you have to put it TMI, TMI. But basically, I called my ex and I'm like, yo, they're about to stick a needle in me. He's like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, I need to get tests, my blood tested for something. And he's like, okay, well, do you need me to talk you through it? I'm like, obviously, I'm calling you. It means that all, all hands on deck, things are bad. So he's like, all right, uh, well, that um, I should get the, the work done. So I'm talking to him on the phone. I don't feel the prick. They get their blood. Yay, me big girl brave girl let's do this <clears throat> great uh so they tell me oh that also to um avoid issues of things like kidney stone <laughs> keep in mind right before all of this i had googled everything so i thought i had gallbladder disease i thought i had cancer i thought i had a uh, kidney stone like i thought i had all the diseases that could possibly be wrong with your stomach right so i'm like okay cool what do you need me to do again? They're like, okay, well, between now and tomorrow, your test results should be out. But I don't know why test results cannot be out in 24 hours. I, I really don't get it. But you know what? 24 hours. I should come back the next day. All right. They said, I'm um, between now and then. I need to go and do a full body scan. Now, you guys, I know these things I'm talking about sound expensive. And to be honest, they are. But see, sometimes, if even if it's once a year, set out some money especially as you grow older to just get full body work done because yo so many things don't show symptoms until it's almost the last dying minute and there's almost absolutely nothing you can do about it so i'm like okay full body work they give me some paper so i think they have like um an affiliate scanning place like somewhere where they get to do all their scans probably some partnership between the hospitals and whatnot cool keep in mind now it's christmas day my hospital is in vi they said this place is in lekki so i come home i get my cousin and his best friend to drive me to the scanning place lord and behost we get there and they are closed i say father lord what is this now 
my thing was i was in a lot of pain and i needed to get rid of that so i got on the phone and started to call all my friends yo do you guys know any 24 hours scanning places where you know i can get scans done because in my head i'm like if i don't get it done today that means i'm gonna have to come here tomorrow which is the 26th which was likely another public holiday and all of this in my head i'm just thinking the longer i stay the more pain i'm in i don't need that right so another lucrative business is having a 24 hour scanning spot on the island those you i never did anything for you so i'm there my friend hits me up she's like okay she found somewhere also in phase one i'm like hallelujah so we drive there <laughs> you guys between the drive from vi i be sorry between the drive of lecky there because the first one was in lecky between that drive and getting to the new place my pain tripled i'm telling you tripled to the point where i was coming down i was trying to come down from the car and i started screaming the gates man even had to move back for me a little bit now if you know me i cry at sappy stuff right i'll cry for soundtrack to a movie is good i'll cry for movie is good i'll cry for book is good right p.s is between you and me nobody needs to know okay cool so I am in the car and I am bugging, like my eyes are watering, I'm screaming, I am in so much bloody pain that I cannot breathe, you guys. I literally, I, I, I stop breathing. I'm like, what is this? Like, is it cancer? Because at that point, I was like, bruh, the fuck is going on? So, I eventually get upstairs, right? Get upstairs to the top floor. Keep in mind don't why are you putting your lab on the top floor really and truly was that necessary there i was struggling like a old grandma holding staircase real trying to get upstairs finally get to the top floor my cousin negotiates blah 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 i'm not gonna name the price of the scan but was on the expensive side i can't even lie but it's like look you know what it needs to be done it needs to be done now keep in mind my hmo does not cover this because well i've left the hospital where the hmo is getting done so I get there, get the scan done. Nice doctor comes in and says, oh, hi, what's this, what's that, what's that? And I showed him paper they gave me in the hospital, which I could not read because the doctor's handwriting. It's trash. I think they, they specifically go to school to be like, okay, make your handwriting rubbish so that your patients cannot read what you say is wrong with them. But that is what it is. So I get there and the guy comes in, says, oh, take off all your clothes. I'm like, oh, not so fast. At least buy me dinner first. Check it. But I get there and um, it's time to, you know, do the scan. He goes, okay, do you have a history of any of this? Basically, he asked me for my patient history again, which thankfully I was able to give to him because I sort of note a couple of these things down. And then he starts to put this yellowish, well, whitish actually, whitish liquid on my stomach. And just for fun, just for laughs, I decide to put this on Instagram. Bruh, I never put on reach 10 minutes. People were like, oh my God, congratulations. Bitch, I'm not pregnant what i'm not pregnant but you know what i went along with it because why not joking mood right trying to make light of the situation amazing uh, amazing so he starts to check he goes oh okay i can see your kidneys they're a bit brutes he shows me it's i don't know what the fuck's talking about but i pretend to and he's like you can see here some sometimes i'm like oh yeah so i've had kidney issues from the whole of 2020 he's like oh okay well they're almost totally healed it's just a little scarring i'm like okay that's one demon out of the way then he goes to my stomach <laughs> you guys even though i said i did not know what was going on i could see clearly that something was going on in my stomach that wasn't supposed to be going on basically there were like patches and holes in my intestine i'm like um what's wrong at this point he calls in a nurse let me tell you when the doctor calls the nurse never really a good idea except he wants her to like scratch his ear or behind his mask or something so he calls the nurse and tells her to go and bring like another um i don't know what those things are called but basically the thing was looking using to look at my stomach he basically told her to go and get another one now this one was smaller and i could see clara and he's just hoeing and hawing i said hello school me dear speak to me speak up let your voice be arisen rise like christ because why are you quiet really actually why are you keeping quiet talk to me so basically, he's there, he's checking, he's poking and prodding, and I'm just like, bro, whatever it is, Lord Jesus, let it be fixable, please. This is on Christmas Day, like... Uh. So, 
a couple of minutes later he's like okay he's done um i should please put on my clothes i'm like okay and then he comes to me and says um even though he's not a doctor from what he can see my intestines and my is this small colon and be large colon and be shall my colon it's fucked so basically i had intestinal infection and colon infection what is it with me and infection and bacteria really and truly let's have a conversation kill on popping because i don't get it i'm like okay he's like yeah but he can't recommend anything until i see my doctor you guys i took that result home and i was shattered like i'm just like look i just finished battling one thing and another thing is starting like at the end of the year really and truly like what did i do to deserve this and i started to you know sort of blame higher powers and feel really bad and all of that and i was still in so much pain by the way like i was basically doubling over so the next day my good girlfriend jennifer shout out to jennifer you guys jennifer was my hero this entire period she i'd be keeping her up to date with everything that was happening it was going on, on i was telling everybody on the group chat jennifer now goes okay you know what you're going to hospital again today let me come with you i'm like okay so she comes herself and her cousin they pick me up from the house I'm literally shuffling like an old lady to get into the car because any slight movement I discovered would upset my stomach. So I get back to the hospital. I'm talking to the doctor. Oh, wait, the first person my time in the reception, I already shouted like three times. It's just Nigeria, right? This is Nigeria. So I eventually get back in with the doctor. Now it's a different doctor that sees me. And this one was actually the one who saw me when I had my kidney infection. It's like, ah! Miss Ada, yeah, yeah, again. I think my darling, I'm here again. No, my body doesn't want me to rest. He's like, oh, what's wrong? Let me see your file. And then he goes through my file. He's like, okay, they requested you to do um, what's it called? A scan. Where are the results of the scan? I provide him the results of the scan. He's like, hmm, he guessed as much. Nigga, what you guessing? Man, queuing me, the owner of the body, in on what you are guessing because right now I'm a bit frustrated. He's like, okay, so basically, um, you have something called, called diverticulitis. I'm an art student, okay? Anything like that sounds like death. I'm like, what the hell is that? I'm sure you guys are thinking that as well. So I'm just gonna, that's what it means. So basically, my large intestine and my colon was infected. Now, a couple of things could have caused this infection, right? It could have been food. Now, if you guys know me, Amala is my middle name, which, by the way, now I can't have. So it could have been food. It could have been bad water. It could have really and truly been anything I basically ingested. Now, what was going on inside my body was that um, basically my insides were um, broken into sores. Now, imagine, you know how you, your body feels when you have a sore, right? Imagine that but in your intestine. Now, your intestine is supposed to help you process food. Yes. Now, mine was that the fluid, the food, anything that was in my system, even if I did like this, it was basically when you have open wounds on your body and you take a shower. You know that sting? Now, put it around your entire large intestine. Hey, God. I was like, what is, what? 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 Bruh, you guys, you don't know what it means to be healthy. Keep in mind, in all of this, I'm still worried about the fact that I'm in a hospital where any time whose dick is hairy could have COVID. So I'm like, okay, so doctor, what's, what's, the, what's the way forward? He's like, well, they're going to put me on antibiotics. In my mind, I'm like, fucking antibiotics again. Is it even natural for somebody to have taken so many antibiotics in such little time? He's like, well, that uh, he's not going to prescribe a large dose is gonna prescribe a long dose so that my body can get used to it i'm like great longer time for uh drinking drugs boy well, said i can't ingest any food <laughs> Nigga, wait you realize christmas day right keep in mind this is me that had just spent almost 30k ordering christmas chops i had fried rice i had jollof rice i had a father I had moi moi. I had all the works that I was going to eat over Christmas into New Year because I really didn't feel like cooking. So I'm there like, wait, I ain't going to taste none of this food. 
you must be joking you are a joker you are gerard leto because what but basically i went back home still in a ton of pain he prescribed pretty strong um painkillers as well just to help me relieve the pain and for six days from christmas day to new year's day your girl did eat i'm just now getting my neck back <laughs> i was skin and bones i i mean i've been going to the gym before then and i started seeing progress oh more progress i had not seen in one month in the gym my body felt it i went down one dress size from not eating for six days do you guys know what it is to be seeing food pass you by and just be looking at it bruh so i was there drinking my drugs every day and then like the third day into my dose the lab technician calls me it's like oh ma'am um your last lab is out maybe i don't even forget say i still get lab for their side he's like eh, and it doesn't seem good i'm like wait the situation can get even more fucked up oh amazing sure hit me he goes um it seems like your infection has traveled to your urinary tract i'm just trying to live really and truly you guys i'm just i'm really just trying to stay alive like at this point it's like it's traveled to where it's like yes yeah, your urinary tract so that's part of why the pain is that severe so i have to go back to the hospital i mean at that point the pain had reduced a certain extent so i'm like okay you know what maybe i'm not gonna die maybe i don't have kidney stones you guys i don't even know what i'm doing my makeup but we move still so, okay, maybe I'm not going to die. Maybe there's still life to be lived. I'm like, all right, cool, great. I will go back to the hospital. I get back to the hospital and the doctor says, oh, yeah, with this new diagnosis, we're going to increase your antibiotic dosage. I'm like, what did I do to deserve all of this? But basically, I was on a lot more antibiotics than I thought I was initially going to be on. So for about two weeks, your girl was popping pills and not the happy kind. Eventually, I went back to the hospital uh, a couple of days before my birthday. Oh, keep in mind, all through all of this, I broke up with whoever I was with. So this is a basic, basic eyeliner. I was going to use the matte eyeliner, but to be honest, I can't be asked right now. So all through all of this, it was just my girl's. You know the trick is not to speak when you're doing your eyeliner, right? All throughout of this, it was just my girls that were there for me. Everybody didn't know what was going on. To even make matters crazier, I was still going to work. Yeah. Work don't stop. The grind don't stop. Yeah, so all throughout of this, I was still going to work. Still trying to make that paper. And yeah. So basically I go back a couple of days before my birthday. And I finally check. And they're like great. So your stomach is fully healed. But from now on only home cooked meals. Home cooked meals. Okay. Um, so basically as of now. I'm still trying to gain my weight back. And I've got to stay away from spicy food. Now, I was never a spicy food person in the first place, but still. But basically now, I can no longer absolutely have spicy food. A fried rice is out of it. Eating out basically is out of it. And to be honest, I've discovered how much money you actually save by eating in. Really and truly. Like, I cannot even lie. It saves money to cook your food by yourself. It's stressful quite alright, yes. But yo, it saves so much money, mate. 
Oh yeah, this is also uh, by Zaron. Lifts your face or your lashes rather. So, a girl has been on a strictly eat at home diet because <laughs> I ain't trying to ever be in pain like that in my entire life ever again, you guys. The pain? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, if it's anything like giving birth to children, I may be adopting because, <laughs> uh, again. <laughs> but yo, this, this blends beautifully into my skin, actually. Wow. Shout out to Zico Cosmetics for a steady bringing it on. Ooh. <laughs> Her sister is looking like fine wine. Actual fine wine, you guys. I'm starting to love pinkish eyeshadow, but then usually it largely depends on my mood, to be honest, because on some days you're just like, mm, pink is my least favorite color anyway, but yeah, have to blend it in properly, make sure everything is better. But yeah, guys, basically, that's what I was dealing with through Christmas over to my birthday. I'll be right back. I'm going to put some lashes on and finish this up. And then I'm going to give you the rest of the story. All right, you guys. What a world of difference your wig makes. Plus, that highlight. <laughs> Anyways, that is why I've been MIA, you guys. I needed time to just process everything that was going on. And to also just take time to feel better. And just, you know, I feel like every time we worry about the physical um effects of being sick and nobody ever really talks about the mental effects like yo now maybe this i lost so much weight everybody was asking oh my god your fifth arm is working and because i wasn't quite ready to talk about it i would just say oh my yeah so the gym is doing me good honey boo boo child it was not the gym it was sickness but your girl is much better now doing great on my way to gaining my thickums back because <laughs> zaddy left it right Anyways, guys, there you have it. That is why I took such a long time to come back on um, YouTube. But I'm back. I'm better. I'm working on a couple of projects. I know I say that all the time, but this time I swear I'm actually working on a couple of projects. There is going to be a new series on my YouTube. Going to start shooting next week, actually. So look out for that. Make sure you subscribe. I see that the community is growing, even in my absence. You guys are the absolute best. Thank you for constantly supporting me. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Adamo Keze. That's where all the craziness goes on, especially on my Insta story. So make sure you catch that. And I will see you guys. In my next video, right now, I'm off to go see Joe Boy. <laughs> Make some good music, hopefully. You know, I snagged me a boo or two. And now, like, I need it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Toodles.